Welcome to the magical world of science. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of materials, substances, and particles. I'm Miss Ray, and I'm thrilled to be joined by a very curious scientist in the making, Kyra. Let's start by looking around us. Can you spot any materials in the room? Hmm. I see a wooden desk, a plastic chair, and a glass window. Great observations. Now, can you tell me which of these are solids? The desk and the chair are solids, right? Exactly. And what about liquids or gases? Do you see any? Well, there's water in my bottle, and I guess the air around us is a gas. Spot on. Now how do you decide if something is a solid, liquid, or gas? I think solids are hard, liquids can be poured, and gases are kind of invisible. That's a fantastic start. Solids have particles packed tightly together. Liquids have particles that slide past each other. And gases have particles that move freely. Let's dive deeper into this. Do you know what matter is? Is it everything around us? Yes. Matter is everything you can see, touch, and feel. It's made up of tiny particles. Now, can you tell me the difference between a material and a substance? Mm, I'm not sure. No worries. A material is a type of matter, like wood or plastic. A substance is a pure form of matter, like salt or pure water. Does that make sense? Yes, I think so. Great. Now, is glass a material or a substance? I think it's a material because it's made from sand and other things. Exactly. Glass is a material made by mixing substances like sand. Now, let's think like scientists. Do you know how particles and liquids move? I think they move around a bit. That's right. Let's try a fun experiment. Imagine we have a beaker of water. If we add a drop of food coloring, what do you think will happen? The color will spread out in the water. Yes, that's because the particles in the liquid are moving and mixing the color. Now, let's play a game. Imagine you're a particle in a solid. Try to shake side to side. What do you notice? I can't move much. Exactly. Now, imagine you're a particle in a liquid. Try to move around. What happens? I can slide past other particles. Perfect. This game shows how particles behave in solids and liquids. Now, can you summarize what you've learned today? I learned that materials are made of matter, substances are pure forms of matter, and particles move differently in solids and liquids. Fantastic job. Thank you for joining the magical world of science. Keep being curious, and remember, there's always more to discover in science.